she didn't feel like I was doing my part for the family. And she's sitting there going, I have goals and dreams too. Do you want him to retire? I I want him to do whatever makes him happy. When I am done playing, I really do want to be able to support her and what her dreams are, to be more flexible with schedule and time and commitment. And when Tom announced his retirement from football, it seemed like he was finally ready to put his family first. My kids and my family is certainly very important. They made a lot of sacrifices. I owe it to them too. But just 40 days later, he changed his mind. Brady says he's coming back. He has, quote, un- finish business. He was doing a bunch of family things. I think the thought came to Tom, I do not want to be sitting there in September watching football on TV and saying, I can still do this as well as any of these guys. But we also saw Giselle whisper into your ear, yeah. what more do you have to prove? Yeah. So Tom, what more do you have to prove? I, I look into my life and I, I I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't have any other life. I wouldn't have done it. If they say, could you change something in your life? I wouldn't change absolutely anything. Not even getting divorced. I mean, it's not what I dreamed of and what I, I hoped for. You know, I think I, I you know, my parents have been married for 50 years and, yeah. and I really wanted that to happen. But I think you have to accept, you know, sometimes that the way you are in your 20s, it's, you know, sometimes you, you grow together, sometimes you grow apart. I mean, he's the father of my kids, you know, so I always wish him the best. And I, I mean, I'm so grateful that he gave me wonderful children. And I think, you know, when a door shuts, other doors open. What a wonderful thing is to, is to feel the, the warmth of a hug and a kiss and to be able to, to be surrounded by you know, by love. And I think, you know, as humans, we are people who are meant to be living in community. We are meant to be, you know, touching and holding and loving. And I think, um, you know, that's essential for our well-being, for our mental health. Imagine being a washed up retired supermodel, but you still think you're the shit. You're completely washed up and you're not even that fine, right? Then you somehow bag Tom Brady. Then imagine telling Tom Brady, who's the greatest of all time, that he has to choose between you and football. You see this family, you then break up your family because you couldn't deal with him playing one more season after you dealt with it for 20 seasons, all right? And you would think breaking up your family for your own personal selfish happiness would be enough, but no. You then turn around and date someone close to your husband, the former family personal trainer or whatever the hell he was, because Lord knows you couldn't go find you a man who's not within the circle. You got to keep things messy. You got to keep things really awkward for your children but then oh come as a bit he breaks up with you because he can't deal with this drama or possibly he broke up with you because you're 44 with two kids my boy tom he cool doing goat things now that it's time to officially finalize this divorce you know she wants half the property right turns out tom brady don't have no property damn <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Well, when you say... Sorry, guys. I didn't know... Can I have a little moment? Yeah. It's definitely a time of, you know, a transition that had to take place and it's not something that you... you I don't think you, you, you wish for that, you know? But I think sometimes in life things happen. I feel so blessed because, like, I wouldn't change anything in my life. I have... You know, I had incredible experiences. I learned so much. I have my children, which are the biggest blessings in my life. And, and now I get to, to create, it's a new season, it's a new chapter in my life. And I get to learn new things and I get to, to, to walk my path in, in a different way, you know? It's very sad to me that it appears, at least, that at being given the option to have had everything he wanted, to have had the amazing career he wanted, to have accomplished things that most people will never know. Who knows when Tom Brady's record will be broken. But despite having everything, the perfect life, quite literally the model wife, that he's unable to do something that is selfless. What marriage takes is selflessness, right? You have to renew that commitment to a person every day and say that I am not the bigger person in this relationship. Sometimes it's you having to uh, remove a little bit of yourself. Sometimes it's the your partner and spouse who has to remove 
a little bit of themselves so that you can have this union, so that you can stay in sync. And it seems that when this came to Tom Brady, when he had an opportunity to say, thank you so much for being a wonderful wife, thank you so much for being a wonderful mother, and thank you for allowing me to have this career, I am now going to step back, he changed his mind. And it's understandable that she feels this way. For years, Brady has been a figure of dedication and perseverance, not just in his sport, but in his personal life as well. His marriage to Giselle Bündchen has often been portrayed as a model partnership, one where both individuals have made sacrifices for each other's careers. Giselle, one of the most successful supermodels in the world, took a step back from the runway to support Brady and raise their children. But now, it seems that the dynamic is shifting. Giselle has reportedly been vocal about wanting Tom to be more present at home, especially as their children grow older. She's been clear that while she supports his career, she also has her own dreams and aspirations. I have ambitions and goals that I still want to achieve, she said in an interview. It's not just about Tom, it's about our family and what's best for all of us. The couple's relationship has always been in the spotlight, but the recent rumors of a potential divorce have brought a new level of scrutiny. Fans and media alike are watching closely to see how the situation unfolds. The couple has faced challenges before, but this time, the stakes seem higher. Tom's decision to unretire and return to football has created a rift that might not be easily mended. Brady's return to the NFL with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers was celebrated by fans, but it came at a cost. The decision, which was made after his initial retirement announcement, is said to have blindsided Giselle. She had expected him to step away from the game and focus on their family. Instead, she's found herself in a familiar position, once again supporting her husband from the sidelines, while he chases another Super Bowl ring. The tension between them has been palpable, with reports suggesting that Giselle was deeply hurt by Tom's decision. While she continues to support him publicly, her absence from the games has been noticeable. In previous seasons, she was a constant presence, cheering him on with their children by her side. This year, however, she has been notably absent, fueling speculation that all is not well in their marriage. Tom's focus on football has always been intense, but now it seems to be coming at a greater personal cost. The time he spends on the field, in training and traveling for games leaves little room for family life. Giselle, who has been patient and supportive for years, appears to be reaching her limit. It's not that I don't love football, she reportedly told friends. I just want my husband to be more present. The situation is undoubtedly challenging for both of them. Tom is torn between his love for the game and his love for his family. He's a competitor at heart, and the thought of stepping away from the game while he still has something to give is difficult for him to accept. But at the same time, he knows that his family is the most important thing in his life, and he doesn't want to lose that. As Tom Brady continues to navigate the pressures of his career and his personal life, the world is watching. Will he be able to find the balance that he's searching for? Or will the strain of trying to have it all lead to the end of one of the most famous marriages in the world? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. Tom Brady's future, both on and off the field, hangs in the balance. The decisions he makes in the coming months will not only affect his career, but also the family he holds dear. For now, all we can do is wait and see how this story, one that has captured the attention of millions, will unfold. Tom Brady, widely regarded as one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history, initially made headlines in 2019 when he retired from the New England Patriots after a legendary career. Most fans thought he had hung up his cleats for good, but to everyone's surprise, Brady made a comeback joining the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2020. His return to the NFL led the Buccaneers to a Super Bowl victory in his first season in Florida, a remarkable feat that only added to his legacy. Since marrying Giselle Bündchen in 2009, the couple and their three children have been a constant presence on the sidelines of his games, embodying the perfect picture of a supportive family. However, Brady's decision to return to football after his brief retirement has reportedly caused some tension in his marriage. Sources have noted that Tom missed 11 days of preseason training with the Buccaneers, raising eyebrows and fueling rumors about marital discord. When asked about his absence, Brady cited personal reasons, stating, it's all personal. Everyone's got different situations they're dealing with. 
We all have unique challenges in our day-to-day -day life. I'm a 45-year-old man. There's a lot of stuff going on. Shortly after these comments, rumors began to swirl about a possible divorce between Tom and Giselle. The speculation intensified when Giselle tweeted her support for the Buccaneers, but was noticeably absent from the games. A stark contrast to previous seasons, when she was a frequent and enthusiastic supporter. The media quickly picked up on her absence, noting that this year felt very different from the last. Throughout Brady's illustrious football career, Giselle has made significant sacrifices. She stepped back from her successful modeling career to take care of their young family, allowing Brady to focus on his sport. I've done my part, which is to be there for him. I moved to Boston and focused on creating a cocoon and a loving environment for our children to grow up in. I feel very satisfied in that way as a mom and as a spouse, Giselle once said reflecting on her role in their marriage. However, it seems that Giselle is now yearning for more of Brady's presence at home. She expressed concerns about the aggressive nature of football, saying, I have my doubts. This is a very aggressive sport, and I have my kids. I would like him to be more with them. I've had those talks with him over and over again, but in the end, I feel that everybody has to make the choice that feels right for them. He needs to listen to himself, too. As rumors of a possible divorce gained momentum, Tom Brady addressed them by reaffirming his commitment to both his family and football. He acknowledged the tension, but emphasized that he's doing everything he can to work through it. During an interview, Jim Gray asked Brady if the only time he finds peace and relaxation is when a 320-pound lineman is chasing him on the field. Brady replied with a mix of humor and sincerity, saying, I hope that's not the only moment I find it because that's a bad way to go. But life is easy during football season because there's a schedule to it. You know, we play every week and the rhythm is pretty much established. But I'm learning to find peace in other ways of life and just enjoying the moments with my kids and seeing how they're growing. Football and family have always been the most important things to me, so it's a good time of year. Despite the rumors and the media frenzy, both Tom and Giselle have denied any plans for divorce, and the couple continues to work on their relationship. While the chances of a split seem low for now, the situation has certainly highlighted the challenges of balancing a high-profile career with family life. Now that you're up to speed on the divorce rumors, here are a few interesting facts that might change your perspective on Tom and Giselle's relationship. Given Giselle's prominence in the fashion world and Tom's status as an NFL superstar, it's no surprise that the couple prioritizes staying fit. They reportedly hit the gym daily, often involving their kids in their workouts to keep the whole family active. Giselle was named the highest paid model in the world for several years. And with Tom's success as one of the NFL's top quarterbacks, the couple has amassed a combined net worth of nearly $600 million, according to Business Insider. Giselle wasn't initially impressed with Tom when she first saw a photo of him. She thought he was cute, but didn't think much more of it at the time. Clearly, things worked out in Tom's favor, as the two have been happily married for over a decade. Giselle almost ended things with Tom early in their relationship. When they first started dating, Tom was still involved with actress Bridget Moynihan. After their breakup, it was revealed that Moynihan was pregnant with Tom's child, causing Giselle to consider calling it quits. However, they worked through it and have built a strong family together. The Brady Bündchen family follows a strict diet, reportedly adhering to a vegan lifestyle. They even have a personal chef who prepares their meals according to their dietary restrictions avoiding certain foods that could cause inflammation. Since they started dating in 2006, Giselle and Tom have made it a point to talk to each other every day, even when Tom is on the road for football. Giselle has mentioned that their strong communication has been key to maintaining their relationship over the years. 